NextGenMarkTools.com What's up everybody, it's Rubble Link, and this is Halo 3 ODST, Beginner's Guide to Legendary. Alright, so this next street, another cakewalk. Basically, um, what I do is um, really just get out of the car and let um, Buck have some fun. Because the great thing about you not being in the car is they won't shoot at you. So, now you got to be cognitive of um, the escort. Make sure it doesn't get too far away. But that's pretty good distance because basically once you um, are a goofball like me and decide to roll your freaking warthog, once it's a good distance away, you can come up behind all the enemies that are attacking the escort and just take them out really easily. So... Now you can't get them, can't let the escort get too far, or you know the escort will die. Okay, so here is probably the toughest stretch of this whole road because at the end of this, you're gonna get the um, gonna get your what do you call it? You're gonna get your scorpion. So I do the same tactic: get out of the car or the warhog. Now what will happen is Buck gets out of the car too, and that's fine. Basically what we're waiting for is that escort to go down a little bit. And um, what I do is I take this Jeep and let, obviously, Buck get in. Now what happens is, because Buck's not shooting at anybody, they ignore him, or you know, they tend to ignore you a little bit more. So this gives you an opportunity to just blow by everybody. Make it to the Scorpion. Get some health while you're at it. And then uh, go to town on some fools. Now if you want to take the um, the Warhog with uh, what is that like a pulse rifle? type thing. Um, you could do it too, but for some reason those enemies, when when they know you have that Pulse Rifle Pulse Rifle Warhog that's that's what I'm going to be calling it they just, like, they all turn around, like, immediately and start firing on you like crazy. But when you're in that one that I was in doesn't have any weapons on it, they tend not to care about you as much. So once you're in this bad boy, it's pretty much scot-free for the rest of this video. Um, you shouldn't have any trouble at all. Um, if you have any trouble, it's probably because you're you're rushing and you're ahead of the um, the escort. But um, even then, you know, Scorpion's such a badass fucking vehicle that I think you're gonna be okay anyway. So. Really, the only area that um, I should have done differently was, uh, yeah, it's this area right here. What you want to do is just get to the middle here and just turn around and shoot the dropships as they're flying by, because basically they're going to fly ahead of you and drop off some ghosts. Um, Beer Baron did a really good job of it. I totally forgot to do it, and um, I just remembered right here. So yeah, stop way before I did. Take out those dropships, and by the time you get to the next level, um, you should only have one or two maybe ghosts to deal with. Instead, I have like um, I think I have all the ghosts I to deal with. But whatever the case may be, it's still not hard, even if the go all the ghosts are there. But um, you know, it just makes it easier if you do it right. So, anyways. That said, uh, you sh really shouldn't have any more trouble once you're in the Scorpion um, for the rest of this. Last video is going to be the standoff. And I'm um, going to give some quick strategy tips there on how to, how to beat that if you're having trouble with it. So with that said, uh, we'll see you guys in that video. Peace.
this down! Apple, friendly fire! Way. Covenant just waits at the highway. We're gonna keep rolling as far as we can. Get airborne, fly the Phantom to my beacon. Understood. Whatever you do, stay clear of that carrier. Let's go! 